सो हेलो गाइज वेलकम टू दिस चैनल वेर आई थी ड्रॉप शिपिंग क्रिप्टो करेंसी एंड डिजिटल मार्केटिंग टूडेज वीडियो इज रिलेटेड टू दी क्रिप्टो करेंसी थिंग इन टूडेज वीडियो आई एम गोन टीच यू हाउ यू कैन ट्रांसफर यूर मनी फ्रॉम यूर बैंक टू यूर फाइनेंस वॉलेट यूजिंग कॉइन डी सी एस एप्लीकेशन विच इज बेसिकली एंड इंडियन एप्लीकेशन सो लेट्स जस्ट नॉट वेस्ट एनी टाइम एंड स्टार्ट विद दिस वीडियो Now to transfer your money from your bank to the like like Binance Wallet, there are some steps. First, you have to keep money ready in your bank. That is for sure. After that, you have to transfer that money from your bank to your Mobiquick Wallet. After that, you have to transfer that money from Mobiquick Wallet to Coin DCX Wallet. And then in Coin DCX, you have to purchase USDT. Okay. And after that, you have to transfer that USDT. to your binance wallet okay i will take you step by step and you will learn how to transfer your money from bank to the coin dcx wallet directly okay so first of all i would like to tell you coin dcx is an indian application okay and it has its two application okay and both are owned by coin dcx itself so first is coin dcx go you have to download this also and th then there is coin dcx trading app for advanced trader okay so this is just orange color and this is just blue color this is just for the advanced trader and this is just for the beginners okay so basically you have to download these two application in your mobile also you have to download mobiquick application in your mobile and also you have to keep your account of binance ready to do this all process and make sure you have done your kyc in all of this app once you do kyc in like coin dcx and after that the same kyc will be done on coin dcx go also because it's the same application after all okay so basically you have to do your kyc verification on like coin dcx binance and also on mobiquick wallet okay now let's start with the video you have to first open your mobiquick uh, app application okay after that you have to click on this balance after that you have to just add money and then you have to put amount here like i have put 3000 rupees you can say and after that you have to click on this add or you continue then you have to put your upi pin here after that 3000 amount will be added in your like like in mobiquick wallet you can see it right here okay after that the first step has been uh, sorry the second step has been completed okay after that we have to transfer this money from mobiquick wallet to the coin dcx wallet so to do so you have to click here on this coin dcx go blue color wala application okay so you have just have to click on this blue application of coin dcx go okay after that you have to click on this account section then you have to click on this available to invest section then you have to click on add funds After that, you just have to put your amount that you want to deposit in your Coin DCX. So let's say two nine four zero. Now, why two nine four zero? Because on two nine four zero, there will be a one point five percent of transaction fee on two nine four zero, and plus eighteen percent GST on that transaction fee of one point five percent. Okay, so that is why I am just uh, putting here two nine four zero, and then you have just have to select this Mobiquick wallet, and after that, uh, you have to click on this arrow. then uh, this mobiquick and then you have to make your payment right here you can see 2940 plus like uh, plus 1.5% of the 2950 uh, and on that 1.5% you have to pay gst of 18% so total becomes 2992 right after that you have to place your mobile number of mobiquick wallet after that you just have to click on send otp otp will come and you have to pay now right so payment is successful and go to inr wallet it will just take like 2 3 seconds to like deposit money in coin dcx wallet okay after that you can see available balance is 3633 now first it was 69693 uh, rupees now it is 3633 so we have added our money in your uh, in our coin dcx account after that our third step has been completed now we have to purchase usdt in coin dcx okay now i would like to tell you what is usdt exactly usdt is basically a cryptocurrency okay and always remember that one usdt that is cryptocurrency is always equal to the one usd that is united states dollars so basically you are dealing in usd in when you purchase that usdt okay so you just have to purchase this usdt because it is a stable currency it price is always stable it just varies from like 77 rupees to 84 rupees maximum this is just very uh, varies in between these okay so it is good to go with this usdt so you just have to purchase usdt tether which is also known as tether in coin dcx now how you can do that you just have to click on that blue wala application that blue application of coin dcx then you have to click here on this price section okay after that you have to come all the way down and you can see tether here which is usdt you just have to click on this after that this section will appear and you have to buy okay 
now after buying you have to put like 3940 whatever amount that was and you have to purchase usdt of that you can see 37.77 usdt uh, it's the total amount of 2940 okay so buy usdt and after that you can see uh, you just have to swipe this arrow to this right section then you you have purchased your 37.7 usdt you can see right here i have got my usdt in my coin dcx wallet right in my investment section you can see i have got 37.713 usd i have purchased that usd using my inr using my rupees so the fourth step of purchasing usdt is completed completed in coin dcx now i want to transfer that usdt from coin dcx wallet to the binance wallet so that i can purchase different different coins like btc trx tron and everything like dodge and everything uh, with the help of that usdt right so you just have to click uh, you just have to go to the coin dcx or uh, coin dcx uh, link i will give you in the description below you can make your account using that link after that uh, you have to click on this funds in, and you have to click on this portfolio you can see that uh, usdt has been appeared in my coin dcx account as i have purchased that in front of you right then you have to click on this withdraw and in withdraw there will be two options of erc20 and trc20 you have to click you make sure you have to you have click on this trc20 okay and it will just cost you 0.1 usdt okay so you always make sure that you have click on this trc20 right and after that you have to go to the binance account first in wallet section of binance also i will give you this link in the description below and after clicking on this you have to click on this fiat and spot after that you have to go to the fee, uh, fee after clicking on fiat and spot you will see that usdt is in here and you have to click on deposit in front of usdt okay so right now you can see i just have 5.14 usdt in this account now i will click on deposit after clicking on the deposit it this page will appear and you just make sure that you have clicked on this trc20 not erc20 okay trc20 and now you just have to copy this address you just have to copy this address from here okay and uh, after that you just have to go to the back to the like your coin dcx account you just have to put that copied address here make sure you have uh, put the correct address just copy that and place it here after that you have to place the amount of usdt you want to transfer from your coin dcx to the binance account okay and after that here is withdrawal password so basically you have to set your withdrawal password here withdrawal person is different and your coin dcx account password is different you have to set your withdrawal password in your binance account uh, through this method and once you set that after 24 hours of that uh, setting up your password you can use and you can transfer your money from coin dcx to binance account so before doing this process just set your withdrawal password first like this way okay and after that you can transfer your money from coin dcx like your usdt from coin dcx to the Binance okay so you just have to put your withdrawal password right here then then you have to click on send okay after that please check the address okay so yes everything is perfect and OTP will come to you on your mobile number you just have to put your OTP right here and then send tether okay then also you have to go to the mail and you have to confirm this transaction once you go to your mail you can see that you have got this mail and you have to click on this confirm withdrawal request after that uh, this play this section this page will appear in front of you where it will show you success message and you just have to click on this three withdrawal history and you can see that in withdrawal history in funds in withdraw in wallet history you can see that you have transferred tether okay debit and it is verified uh, from you okay like after that it is verified from you because it has been uh, verified by you in your email right you have confirmed that and after that it will show you complete now you can see you have just have to go to your binance account back and you can see uh, i have just uh, i used to have like five dollars here and now it is more so i got total of 42.76 usdt uh, here in my binance account so this way you have transferred your money from bank all the way up to the binance account i know it is quite a complicated process and also i would like to tell you that uh when you transfer your money from coin dcx to binance account at the time you confirm this transaction uh it will take like uh, i guess three minutes to ten minutes to complete that transaction to appear your usdt in your binance account okay so just don't be panic that oh my where is my money where is my money where is my money it will appear in binance account after three to ten minutes of your transaction completed completed okay so this way you can transfer your money from your bank to the like binance account and uh, you can like use your usdt that you have transferred in your binance account you can use your usdt to purchase other cryptocurrencies like whatever you want to purchase like tron dodge 
or uh, like anything like polka dot ethereum bitcoin whatever you want to purchase you can purchase that in pair in the pair of usdt because you have transferred your usdt, your USDT from your coin dcs to the binance account so this way uh, is the better way to transfer your money there are other methods also like p2p and many more methods are there but this is the simple method i do use and if you are using wazirx okay so i will suggest you to watch previous video in which i have to i will give that link in high section uh, in which i have told you how you can transfer your money from wazirx to the binance account that is also a simple method and this is also a simple method whichever you like whichever you find uh, like satisfactory you just have to use that okay so that's it for this video guys i hope you have liked this video please make sure to like this video if you have really liked it and please make sure to subscribe to this channel to get more content like this and that's it for this video see you in the next video